Hey guys, it's Andrew Escovo here back with another review and today I'm going to be reviewing the Kilowatt. Now this is a little device that's going to end up saving you a lot of money in the long run if you know how to use it. Basically all this is is a simplified multimeter. You plug it into your wall and then you plug an electrical device into it and it can tell you a lot of details about said electrical device be it a single a single TV or a refrigerator or vacuum or even an entire surge protector which is what I have hooked up to it right now I've got you know my computer my monitors my speakers my routers and all that stuff all plugged into one surge protector and then the surge protector plugged into this so that I could monitor how much power I'm essentially using now I currently have it set to how many watts I'm using as you can see I'm around 324 give or take but that's not all it can do. See, it's got an array of different settings that helps you analyze your electrical situation. Anything from volts, which would be this one right here, to amps, to watts, to even the frequency of your power lines. Now, mine says 60, which is supposed to be standard United States power line frequency. Sometimes it goes down to 59.9, but that's an acceptable dip, an acceptable dip in power. And uh, I think in other countries it may may or may not be different, but you know, don't quote me on that. And then it has the kilowatt per hour and a few other buttons. Now keep in mind that some of these buttons, such as the watt button and the frequency button, have multiple functions to it. Now there are certain versions of the kilowatt and I'm not entirely sure mine has this feature but for some versions of the kilowatt you can in fact input data and the data you would input can be found on your electrical bill on your electrical bill you should be able to find somewhere in there that says how much the your electric company charges you per certain unit of electricity and when you input that data into the kilowatt, it can automatically, real-time, calculate for you how much power you're using and then analyze over time how much power you've used within a certain time frame and basically straight up tell you how much money you just spent powering those particular electronics. Now, with all that aside, there are some gripes that I have with this device. The device overall is rock solid, works perfectly, no flaws to it, really helpful, but they really should have included a key feature that would have made things a lot easier to use this for. See, this LCD screen right here has no backlighting at all, so in dark situations, when you plug this in somewhere, if it's under something, doesn't have any light going to it, you can't read it so you need a flashlight of some sort but other than that there's not really any problems to it it does a fantastic job of what it does now I do want to address one issue that you may or may not have when using this device and this is some critical info here my device as you can tell is not plugged into the wall I have an extension cable going into the wall so that I can have this on my desk instead of behind my desk so that I can actually read it constantly now, this device is safe to use up to 15 amps of power. Okay, that's a lot of power. Now, keep in mind that not all extension cables are rated for 15 amps. You gotta be careful when you get an extension cable for this thing, because a lot of extension cables are only rated for 10 amps, which will be very, very bad if you're pulling more than 10 amps. So what I did is I went out and I bought a cable specifically rated for 15 amps and that's why I'm using that for this. Trust me, it's a really good idea to spend the extra like two or three dollars to get one that's rated for you know 15 amps instead of like 10. It's just really a safety issue, you know. I mean, according to this device, to the device right now, I'm only pulling 3.5 amps, give or take, goes up and down, but you know, if I were to use this on, you know, something that was much more power intensive, it would come in handy to know that you have a cable rated to do the job that it needs to do. Now, 
I don't have all the specs on me right now about what this thing can and can't do, what, what it's rated for, but I will have a link in the description to where you can buy this, and in that link, you will be able to find some detailed information on this thing. Now, overall, I'm very pleased with this device, and, you know, like I said, it's ultimately here to help you figure out how to save money. Because in this economy, you know, everyone's got a budget, everyone's trying to save money. We're all switching from incandescent bulbs to LED bulbs or fluorescent bulbs. You know, we're turning lights off wherever they're not being used. You know, we're doing all these things to try and save money. And this device is going to help you do that. It allows you to analyze your electronics so that you can configure them to save you on power. Make your electrical bill lower. And we all know spending less money is a wonderful thing. Now, realistically, what I use this for is uh, I like to tell the power differences between when my computer's on, how many mo monitors I have on, you know, how loud my music is, you know, the difference in power between sleep mode, hibernation mode, totally off. You know, it helps me figure out, okay, you know, what is the best application for my computer for my current situation? And this, this little thing really helps you figure that out. And above all else, I suppose this comes as a really good diagnostic tool. Because there's functions on here that can help you determine whether a device and or power line is faulty. And, you know, so normally you'd have to get like in a multimeter or something, and you gotta stick the rods, the probes, into the wall socket, and you know, some people aren't comfortable with that. With this, you can just, you know, plug it in. But uh, it's almost guaranteed that, depending on your wall sockets, you're going to need an extension cord. So, you know, just be careful about which one you buy. Other than that, this is a great little device that, nowadays, you just got to have one eventually. And uh, I got mine on Newegg for like 15 bucks, so it was a shell shocker deal. And I haven't looked back since. It, it was money, money that was well spent. So, yeah. That's, that's really all there is to this little device, you know. So, uh, that's all there is to say. You know, thanks for watching, guys. Hopefully, hopefully it was helpful, informative, and, um, you know, feel free to comment, rate, subscribe, check out my other videos. And, you know, as always, thanks for watching.